Hi Anna, my name is Paul, I'm 44 from West Sussex and I'm a web engineer. I've been awake for several years now and <clears throat> this whole thing is just another example of another, the, ho the whole world seems to be a stage at the moment. Um, I don't believe anything I see in mainstream media, not a thing. And it just seems to be escalating to the point of insanity. The, the most recent BBC report with regards to droplets <laughs> that pass out after you sneeze. And there was this report and, and, and this, you know, BBC like to do their graphs and, and, and computer images. They CGI'd the, these snot droplets coming out of someone's mouth and, and they were shaped like piranhas. I'm not kidding you, they were piranhas. CGI piranhas. So the fear mongering, the scare mongering BS that is going on from the mainstream media is just unparalleled. It, these people and the governments need to be held responsible and accountable for the deaths they are causing not covid deaths but the deaths they are causing because of lockdown and the misinformation and lies and just bullshit that they are spewing out on a daily basis someone needs to be held accountable and if you follow the money it goes all the way to the World Health Organization, Bill Gates. I strongly believe that Black Lives Matter is also linked to this with how that is funded. You follow the money again, it leads to George Soros and various liberal left elite high power people. And Soros, I believe, even is linked to the Wuhan laboratory which is where this supposed virus <clears throat> first started. So people just need to wake up, wake up and see through the BS. Um, the whole masks thing is another, it's a test. They're trying to mandate people to wear masks. It's just a test towards mandating a vaccine, as simple as that. People are going to like so scared, and so fearful when they hear news of a vaccine coming out. They're going to rush, rush towards it, and and we've all, everyone on this channel, I believe, knows about the dangers and the perils of this vaccine, and it's not good enough. And I've been struggling with, you know, what can I do to. To help and I saw your channel I saw posts from other people and views similar to mine and it just gives me a glimmer a small glimmer of hope that we can get out of this and move on and defeat defeat evil because that's what it is it's good versus evil um, I'm in a band and I one of the lyrics to my songs I, I use from the uh, Russian philosopher uh, Alexandra Solhainitsyn. I think that's how you say it. And the quote was, the battle line between good and evil runs through the heart of every man. And that is a powerful statement more than ever at the moment. Um, and then when it comes back to the mask thing, um, I keep seeing these things on TV about strapping these masks on children and it just sickens me, it sickens me that young kids, they want to muzzle and take away their laughter and their smiles and cover them up. It's just inhumane, it is king sick, these people, what they are doing, it is sick and I am sick of it. 
and people do need to be held accountable. You've got our idiot, dozy leader of this country. He came out the other day saying anti-vaxxers are nuts. I'm not anti-vaxxer. I, I believe in the choice of being vaccinated, the choice of wearing masks. I don't think anything should be mandated and for him to come out and say that fucking idiot that he is just enrage me further and push me towards doing this <clears throat> so where do we go from here hopefully this is the start keep up the good work Anna